Hi everybody, it's Alison from the Nail Boutique in Freckleton. This week I'm going to show you some pop art nails for our abstract theme. So what I've done is I've just buffed the shine off a tip and I'm just going to roughly draw my design on. There's your rough design. So what I've done is I've just decanted, you want to use something sort of quite bright. I've gone for some jelly fit colours. Um, I've gone for cream rather than something with frosted, purely because um, the frost, because a lot of these nails go, go matty down. So sometimes the frost can give it a little bit of a, a funny look. So I'm going to stick to the cream one. So first what I'm going to do is I am going to colour in my heart. I'm going to do this lovely orange colour. I'm using the Get Buffed Pro in Mini again, which is my favourite brush. I use it nearly for everything that I do. Okay, so once you've got that done, I'm just going to pop it in the lamp and we're going to cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, and once that comes out of the uh, lamp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint each section alternately with the two other colours that I've got on the palette. Okay, so once that come out, um, what I've done is I've actually decanted some black and white paint. I'm actually using the Jelly Fit Pro Liners. I'm going to go back in again and use my Get Buffed Pro Mini. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to border everything. And this is what makes you have that really pop art look, that really clean line look. Okay, and that can go in for a cure again. Okay, so again, you're going to go and do a little bit more detailing. So what I'm going to do is in the blue sections, I'm going to do some stripes.
okay and then once you've done that i'm going to go in with a dotting tool and i'm just going to do some dots on the yellow sections again in black Once you've done that again, just pop it in for a quick cure. Okay, and then you're just going to finish the highlighting off. Now, this probably is the most important bit because this is what gives pop art its dimension. It looks like it's real. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go back in very, very gently with a little bit more black. I want the tiniest, tiniest, thinnest lines here. So you just really sort of, you need a tiny little bit on your brush. Okay, and I'm just going to do a highlight around there, like that. And then I'm going to just do one here as well. So it's the slightest of um, lines. But when it's finished, you will notice how much it makes a massive difference. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my dotting tool again. I'm going to do a slightly bigger dot there and then just go in with a, a little bit of a small one okay and then i'm going to go in with another thin brush and again the slightest slightest little amount on it you don't want a lot on your brush at all you're just going to a little bit of highlight there like so and just go with a little dot as well like that and that is ready for your cure okay and then all i've done is i've just gone over it with a shiny top coat there you go so that's a pop art nail so the next pop art design is a really really simple one it's a lot less complicated than the last one so i'm going to go in using this jelly fit color this is ca917 Okay, that's your second coat and again that goes into the lamp. So once that comes out of your lamp, I'm going to go in with the Jelly Fit Pro Liner in white, PLO2. And you want a nice clean crisp line. So I'm going to start just at the corner here and I want it to go round. So probably just over halfway like that and then I'm going to go in again with the pro liner and just do another smaller line like so and then that's going to go in your lamp for 30 seconds and then again with the jelly fit pro liner what I want to do is I want to give it, give it that frame so I'm then going to start by framing the whole nail you go and again pop in the lamp to cure so you can either just leave it like that or you can just go with the extra detail again the slightest amount on your brush and you can outline your highlight And 
again. Just pop it in to cure. And again, that goes in for the final cure for 30 seconds. And that comes out of the lamp. So I'll just pop it on the rest of them. These are some others that I've done. Okay, so again, you can see um, the one that we've done here today, I've done that in the shiny top coat, but that's what it looks like with the mat. So you can see there's a definite difference, but again, it's just personal preference, really. Again, exactly the same with um, the highlighting with the black. Um, you can do matte or you can do um, shiny, you can leave it white, you can put a black round, it's entirely up to you. But there are so, so many designs you can do and it literally is just the simplest way of doing some fantastic nail art. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you again next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye now.